Google, the latest tech giant to establish a brick and mortar retail presence in New York City and the location itself making a statement. CNBC's Steve Kovac is live outside the Chelsea store, which opened just a few hours ago. Steve, I'm looking at your shot. I see people behind you. So it's grabbing some attention. Yeah, some people, uh, not necessarily a line. I was told by one of the employees here that there was a Google super fan right out front at like six in the morning, four hours before they open. Right now, the crowds have died down quite a bit. I took a stroll through there. It's really less of a store and more like a demo area where you can try out Google Nest products, their Stadia gaming service, and of course, their Pixel phones and their Chromebooks. That's, that's really what this is about. It's more of a showcase than a store. Steve, I think about that iconic image of people waiting in line outside Apple stores. Um, and I think also about the fact that this Google store is located conveniently near an Apple store. Do you think of this Google store as more of a destination or as something that might pick up some foot traffic uh, that happens to be in the area, if you will? What? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually, you can't see it right now, but I'm literally looking at the Apple store across the street. So this does make a statement. Uh, Google's headquarters is right upstairs, too. So it is a convenient location for them. They already own the space and they're able to plop it in there. But again, Google's an advertising company. They do not make significant revenue from their hardware products. This is really just a showcase to show what they can do. There's like this AI demo that you can go into that will translate things you say in real time, which is pretty cool. But other than that, like, are people going to actually come in here instead of the Apple store? I don't know. Pixel phones are not very popular. We're, in this country, we're a Samsung and Apple uh, country. So I really would be shocked if this moves the needle for a Google's hardware business. <laughs> yeah, well, Steve, I mean, I guess we should also note Google's offices in New York also in that building. Who knows? Maybe they got a good commercial real estate deal, given what's been, been happening yeah. over the past year plus, but part of Google's model, right, is to get into devices to drive data that drives advertising. And so, in a way, the store represents what Google is in the same way that the Apple store perhaps represents what Apple is. Yeah, that's exactly right. It's all about getting a foothold. Android is the largest operating system by a mile, way bigger than iOS, of course. And that is, again, all a data play, all an advertising play. We saw this yesterday with the Facebook announcement that they're going to put uh, ads in their virtual reality Oculus headsets. So the hardware might be kind of cheap and not very appealing. But again, it's just a new avenue to open up more ad inventory for them. That's their core business. Right, Steve, I was on the press call yesterday where they explained a few more details and noticeably they wouldn't say whether or not they're going to open up more, even if they had any other plans. But I wonder, since you're looking right across at the Apple store, can you gauge who has more customers right now? It's a little hard to see. Google has these giant balloons hanging all up and down the avenue, so it's a little tough <laughs> to see. I didn't walk by the Apple store. Um, but I come down here a lot, and it's usually pretty crowded down there. This is a high-end shopping area, a lot of um, clubs and nightclubs out in the meatpacking Chelsea district. So this is where a lot of money uh, people come to shop. Um, so it's not surprising there's an Apple store here and that Google would want to get a piece of that pie.